Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell in the upper right hand corner. Follow me on all forms of social media. Check me out at thedrummerguy.com and enjoy the following presentation. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Hey man, how are you? I'm doing great. Uh, thank you very much for taking time to do this interview. Absolutely, no problem. Oh, awesome. Well, it's uh, great to be able to talk to you and uh, talk about some brand new music from Agnostic Front, uh, especially with uh, the new album Get Loud coming out next Friday through Nuke of the Blast. Absolutely, we're excited. Oh, it's so great to hear that. I mean, when there's a new album coming out and the band's actually excited about the brand new album and stuff like that, I mean, that's usually a good sign that the new album is going to be an awesome album. Absolutely. You know, I mean, we've just been putting so much into this. And, um, you know, like, we take, we, we, I mean, I mean, not, not that it's just our job, but um, we take what we do seriously, you know? And, I, and at this time, there's no room to just, just to, to put out filler. You know what I mean? Like, we have to um, do everything in our can to put out the best product we possibly can. And we have to do something we believe in, and we absolutely believe in it. And it's so great to hear that, too, because the more that I do listen to this album, the the more that you really do hear that there is no filler whatsoever. Every song on this album is meant to be there. I mean, the dynamics on here is great. I mean, no matter how fast it gets, how heavy, heavy it gets... Uh, you know, just everything about it can just get so intense, and it just, it, it feels like such a perfect Agnostic Front album. Thank you so much, we really appreciate that. I mean, I've been doing interviews all morning long, and everyone's saying the same thing. Everyone really feels, um, everyone seems to feel really strongly about this record, and it's really great to hear, considering the amount of time and heart that we put into it. Yeah, and I gotta imagine on your end, it's gotta be such a great feeling knowing that it's coming out a week from today on New Kid Blast. Oh yeah, and, uh, we just dropped a video for the song I Remember today, oh. so I can't wait to hear all the feedback, but I haven't been able to check because I've been on the phone from 10 in the morning doing interviews. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all great, it's all part of the job, it's all part of the hustle, it's all part of the fun, you know? Oh, absolutely, and I'm glad to see that that did uh, get a video behind it because that was one of my favorite songs off the album. I mean, I, I, I love the lyrics behind what's going on there and you know like uh, right after this right after I'm done editing and EQing this interview I'm definitely going to go and check that out knowing that it's video now oh yeah check out the video because I tell you what's really cool about it and the idea that Roger had behind it was um, he wanted this song to actually end video to kind of kind of like go along with, with, with the movie The Godfather's a Hardcore that they put out and it really kind of takes you, it kind of ties everything together, you know, from the video to the song. Um, we took, we pulled out a lot of great clips and footage from, um, from the movie, and it really ties it all together. It's a, it's a personal song about how um, Vinny and Roger met and got together and started the band and how they've been continuing the legacy. So it's, 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 it's pretty awesome. Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, knowing of that documentary and watching it and, you know, just I, I love the fact that the, the video, uh, the music video is going to be matching up with that, too. I mean, uh, with uh, the, the subject matter at hand, I mean, that just seems like it's so perfect to put together that way. Absolutely. You know, we felt it. We felt it was a personal thing. And we felt it was the documentary as much as Roger's book. And it all just kind of tied everything all together. You know what I mean? And just like, um, you know, now, you know, the, the movie and, and Vinny and Roger's lives are documented. And it's just, um, you know, it's just, it, it, I, I feel like not not because I'm in the band, but I just feel like these guys, they deserve the respect, you know, that 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 they're finally getting now, and uh, it, it's pretty it's pretty awesome to um, document their lives and their incredible story and how far, how many people they've touched and, uh, you know, and affected other people's lives, you know, so I think it's very well deserved. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I mean, with almost three decades now, uh, countless bands that have been influenced, uh, you know, how many tours, how many... Uh, inspirations for people in and out of music, uh, both uh, you know, just uh, lyrically and uh, musically, everything that's going on. I mean, just like it's it's so great to see that you know, like in documentary form, that they're getting the respect that they deserve. And you know, just uh, with it being a few years since uh, the last Agnostic Front album, I mean, it's great to see that this album came to fruition. And you know, just uh, seeing the name of Agnostic Front just uh, soaring higher and higher now in 2019. Yeah, you know, we're trying. We're doing you know, a lot of good things going on. And um, just trying to keep the, uh, the legacy alive, you know. And you know, there's a lot of hard work and dedication that goes into it. But uh, 
you know, I don't think there's anything that's stopping us anytime soon, just despite whatever's going on in our lives and our ages, you know? You know, we're all a little bit older now, but uh, that's not stopping us, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, and that's so important, too. I mean, obviously, if the inspiration of the band is still there, it's still fun to write music. It's still fun to go out there and play shows. I mean, when you have all of that going on, and it, I mean, age is not a... I mean, age can obviously be a factor, but, you know, it's like uh, when you get into writing mode and you start recording a new album, when you start going out there and playing shows, like, age is not a factor then. It's the fun factor that matters. Oh, absolutely. You yeah. know... It's so funny because I could even tell you like six, seven years ago, saying to myself, I don't know, maybe we got another five years left. I've been saying that since like we've been in the band. I've been in the band 18 years. I'm saying, ah, oh, maybe another five or so years, you know, like, and at this point, I just think it's death is going to do us part. That's it. You know, we're not going to stop. There's no stopping us. This is all we know. This is all we do. I don't want to say this is all we know, but, you know, we love this. There's no reason to stop. You know what I mean? It's just like when, um... One of us can't physically do it anymore, then then maybe we will stop. But as of right now, there's there's, there's nothing that's gonna hold us back. Oh, and it's so great to hear that too. And uh, again, obviously, when you listen to Get Loud and you just like hear this half hour of intensity that's going on there, I mean, I, what was it like to start writing for this new album? Well, you know, it's funny. I've been telling everybody that um, I've been speaking with that. Uh, I I I, I kind of feel like it has had an effect on the writing and the outcome and everything. It was like, we were actually supposed to record this record in December. And, uh, Unfortunately, not unfortunately, that's great and it worked out better, but Roger had said that we need to record this record early, early in between each tours, in between our summer tours, because, I don't know if you know how it works, but like festival-wise, like you need to have something new out to get on the newer, bigger festivals and stuff. You need something current. So, in order to get those festivals and stuff, we, we decided we need to get this record out now. There's no more time to waste, you know what I mean? So, I think with the pressure of that going on uh we really dug deep and really just like when the pressure was on it, it, i guess we worked good under pressure and uh you know we, we 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 had a bunch of ideas that we all brought to the table we've been on the road so much that we did most of it on the road you know sound checks backstages and uh, it's pretty much, you know, we had utilized all the time that we had together to really make this record come together. And uh, it just, you know, it, it just kind of all fell into place, you know, you know, a lot of hard work. And then whenever we were home, you know, me and Roger, we did all the lyrics and we bounced ideas back and forth until we got it to where we thought it was the most, you know, most efficient, the most powerful. And, you know, it came off better. So, you know, thank God for the Internet for that, uh, you know, it makes things a lot easier. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's basically how it went down, you know? And um, we wound up recording in California with Paul Miner for Buzz Bomb Studios. And we went with on the last record because we really feel he captured our sound, our spirit, you know, in, in, that, in that last recording. And uh, so we went with him again. And yet again, he did another amazing job. And it's just um, so great to work with. And we love just the sound of the record. It's really... He really just—he really hit the nail on the head with that, you know. Yeah, and that's one of my favorite aspects of the album is, uh, just like you said, it really does feel like uh, the production and the recording is such a, a great uh, example of what the band can do and you know it's just like uh, throughout the entire album it just it feels like a live album I mean it just it feels like something that would be able to be played from start to finish in that live setting because it just it really does capture that intensity of the band well it's funny because a lot of it we pretty much kind of recorded a lot of it like live you know because Sometimes you capture a little more of that grittiness and that raw energy. So, like, I deal with a lot of, like, a more of the old school kind of, like, earlier sounding stuff. Like, stuff that could have sounded like you'd come off a victim in pain and United Bloods. And we actually did the same thing on the last record. We just kind of recorded it live, took three tracks and took the best tracks of all of that. You know what I mean? And maybe if there was a little mistake here and there, we'd touch it up here and there. But we kind of kept that live feel to it. And I think... You could actually, you could, it, 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 you know, it made sense to do that because you could actually tell that, you know, it, it just, it, it came off. It really, it really did. Yeah, and it's, again, you know, it's just like, it's so great to see that it did work out that way. And, you know, uh, and, and just like you said, uh, being able to have something uh, new for the festival circuits and stuff like that. I mean, that is so important. And, you know, it's just, I got to imagine it's got to be, a, even though there is so much material in the Agnostic Fraud catalog, I mean, it's always great to be able to add some new material into the live set. Oh, absolutely. You know, I mean, we have such a huge catalog 
But, you know, it's just like, there's a lot of bands out there that ride off their, like, their first record. That's all they have is their first record. And maybe like a seven inch in their first record, you know? And they, they, they haven't really done anything after that, you know what I mean? It's just like, after a while, it's cool to see that. And it's like nostalgic and, you know, respect to all those bands that are, you know, still doing it or whatever, you know? But it's just like, they're not really giving, they're not, they're not all they're doing, they're going out and then they're pretty much to me they're taking. Like us, we're giving back, you know? We're giving, giving to the people, you know what I mean? It's, and that's what it's, it's, it's more all about. Out, you know what I mean? Like, people are going to get tired of seeing that same set, same freaking songs over and over again. You know what I mean? We want to give them something different. And every time we play out, we try to, you know, throw new songs in the mix and throw different songs so we're not playing the same set every night. And that's a lot. You know what I mean? So you got to keep stuff fresh. Oh, yeah. That's so important. I mean, when it comes into the fan aspect and, and the band aspect as well, too. I mean, you want every show to yeah. feel fresh and fun and a, a great reason to be able to go out there and give the fans 110% and being able mm-hmm. to just enjoy the whole time on stage and when you're able to do that with mixing up the songs i mean whether you're playing some deep cuts whether you're playing some uh new material whether you're playing the classic songs i mean there's just so many ways you can go about it and it's it's great to see that you that the band keeps that so much in mind and it's even good for us too because you know we get excited about playing new songs you know because yeah you get bored after a while playing the same stuff over and over no matter how much you love it how much how intense the songs can be and all of that good stuff you know but you know you know even for us it's exciting you know so we got to keep stuff fresh and exciting to keep stuff exciting for everybody else. You know what I mean? Oh, I couldn't agree more, and that's what's got me excited uh, when you're able to start uh, playing in promotion of the new album and like uh, seeing the songs that are going to be played live, like what songs from the back catalog is going to be on there, and just seeing how the crowd reaction is for it, too. I mean, every time that there is a new album from Agnostic Front and just like uh, seeing the reviews from it, uh, the way people are responding to it, and, and I've been seeing so much uh, great reaction to the single so far and r- reviews and stuff like that. I mean, I just, I can't wait till the proper promotion and the live setting starts happening. Absolutely, man. I mean, that's all going on this week. We just, like I said, we just released a new video. We recorded another video for Conquer and Divide, and we also are planning on recording a video for Urban Decay. So, uh, yeah, you know, we got a lot going on. We um just trying to push it as much as possible, and Nuclear Blast is on our side and doing so much work to help get this record out there. Yeah, and, in, and speaking of Nuclear Blast, I mean, obviously with uh, the, the last few Agnostic Front albums uh, being a part of Nuclear Blast, I mean, what was it like to continue working with the label? Well, you know what? We actually have a pretty good relations with everyone at that label. Um, they all really love their job, love that they do, and they love us as a band, and um, they're really supportive. And uh, Tommy at Nuclear Blast had put together, a, 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 I don't know if you've seen the video for the new song Spray Painted Walls, oh, yes. but he's included a lot of my artwork in that, which was really cool. So um, and he did that video for nothing out of the goodness of his heart, just to help support the record because he believed in it. So I mean, that's that's that, that's that's pretty damn cool, you know. I mean, not, most labels won't do that for you, you know. Oh, that's so true. I mean, there's a lot of labels that are out there that are just uh, uh, to shake the money out of you and like uh, forcing you to make albums or songs or uh, decisions that you just don't want to do. And I've always known mm-hmm. Nuclear Blast to be one of the better labels when it comes to that because it feels like they have faith in every single band that they sign. They do. I mean, they believe in the bands that they, they sign. And, you know, they're a real label, you know, and uh, it, it, it's great to work with them, you know, and... Uh, yeah, it just, I mean, it just helps. Like, being on a label like Nuclear Blast is, like, they help get you know, they help get it out there more. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you know, it's hard when you're on a small indie. There's only so much they can do or so many places they can get it. But a Nuclear Blast helps make our record, you know, available pretty much all over the place, all over the world. You know, like, in fact, I did an indi- interview from India today. And I went to answer my phone. I couldn't believe it. I was like, this is really coming from India? I can hardly hear what they were saying because the connection was terrible. But we got it done. But uh, it's pretty damn cool, you know what I mean? Interview coming. So, you know, this, you know our music is, is worldwide. We ain't kidding. I mean, really, you know? Oh yeah, absolutely, and yeah, I mean, the the fact that you can talk to someone like me, the fact that you can talk to someone from India, you know, just like a, a, talking to everybody around the world uh, to talk about a new Agnostic Front album, and then being able to go around the world and being able to play shows and promotion of this album, I mean, that's just, it's, it's such a cool thing to be able to do that after all this time in 2019, and just seeing how excited everybody is, like myself, that there is a new Agnostic Front album coming out in a, a week from today, and then... Uh, just uh, everything that's going to be going on in the future, uh, especially like in 2020. 
absolutely. You know, it's great that people, we still have people of interest that are interested in us and um, just trying to keep it alive, you know? It's just, uh, it's an incredible thing and it's been an incredible journey. I've been in the band 18 years and, uh, it's, it's it's pretty awesome, you know. I mean, I'm lucky to be part of all this. Yeah, and you know, uh, the fact that you have been a part of the band for so long now, you know, uh, just being able to see everything that's happened in uh, the 21st century with the band and stuff like that, I mean, what has it been like for you since, like, you started off in Agnostic Front uh, to now? I mean, what what has it been like this whole time? I mean, it's pretty incredible that, like, now I'm pretty much a staple in this band, you know? I mean, who would have thought I was a young kid just getting into it, that shortly getting into the music... I became a part of it, you know, I became a part of history and um, the whole New York hardcore family and Agnostic Front. Um, these guys have, you know, been great to me and given me a good life and I'm able to travel the world and I've had friends everywhere I go. Everywhere I go, they're like, come stay with me, you know. You get to um, see different people and different cultures and get to eat different foods and just just all of that just to see how people live like we live such a colorful and interesting life that um I, I couldn't imagine just like waking up every day and going to do a 9 to 5 you know I, I really I really couldn't I really couldn't I don't know if I could do it especially in fact I was, I was thinking about this on the way back home picking dropping off my daughter to school and just like you know see people getting up going to work same time every morning yeah, you know, that's, that's that's just not that's not me. That's that's not my life. And I've done that. You know, I've done everything con from construction to delivering pizza to um, phone soliciting, working at delis. Yeah, you know, I've done it all. I'm a worker. I'm a hard worker. I always am. I've always I have always had a strong work ethic. But um, this is this is my life. This is my thing. You know, this is I'm a lifer. That's it. And I love it. Oh, and it's again, you know, it's it's so great that you are in that position to be able to uh, call agnostic front you, your life and being able to be a lifer when it comes to that. I mean, when you have something that you are passionate about and you're able to uh, sustain any kind of life from that, I mean, you never work a day in your life when you're doing something that you truly appreciate and love doing. That's my motto. It really is. You know, I say that all the time. I really do. You know, I mean, it's um. Yeah, I, I really don't feel like I work, you know? I really don't. I mean, I work fucking hard, I really do. But I enjoy it, so to me, it's not a job. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, uh, get, getting back into the album as well, too, I mean, uh, with uh, a title like Get Loud, uh, the album cover is just like a, such a great representation of what this album is about. It's just, it, it's such a killer album cover. Like, how did that all come together? Well, you know, what's really cool is the fact that um, well, we, we just felt that this record really had that cause for alarm vibe. You know, a lot of the songs just kind of, and we didn't do that on purpose. It just kind of worked out that way. And um, it just like reminded us of that record a lot, you know, had a lot of elements of it. And we thought it would be a great idea to ask Sean Taggart, who did the Cause for Alarm record, you know, and it just really fit. It was like the icing on the cake. It tied it all together. It really did. Yeah, and I, see, I was wondering if there was, like, any connection to it or anything like that, and it's just, it's great to see that, if nothing else, it was just, like, a, a similar vibe to it, and, you know, it was it was great to see that you were able to get him to do uh, the artwork for this album, because it just fits so perfectly. I mean, the more that I look uh -huh. at it, there's so much to like dissect with it so much to be able to check out and uh, discover just in the album cover alone let alone being able to get into the music and the lyrics and everything that goes into this album absolutely you know, I, I know we're doing a shirt with the album cover I can't wait to add it you know that's like it's so awesome it's funny even a couple of years back even before uh, even I think a stitch of this record was even written I had got the demon from the original Close for Long record on my leg tattooed on me so it, it's just like you know, it's, it's like it's part of the Agnostic Front history, you know what I mean? It's really cool to bring that character back, and as well as the other ones that were on the record. And um, it's just it's pretty amazing. It, really, it ties it all together, I think. It's, um, it's really cool to have Sean be a part of it. He's an amazing artist that's done so many great things, just besides even album covers. Uh, so it was good to have him to be part of it, and it's just all, it all works. It, 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 all, it all really ties it all together, and it's just, um, yeah, it's, it's awesome. We're, we're really excited about it all, from the artwork to the music to the videos to the press to the going back out and touring this record. 
Yeah, and again, that that's just got me so excited for everything that's going on. And, you know, just uh, hearing it in your voice, like how excited you are uh, about this album. And I absolutely love this album. I think it's just like a perfect half hour of what oh, Epic Six Front so is much. about in 2019. Yeah, I could, yeah, and I mean that too. Like, uh, it's, I, it's, I can feel that. Yeah, and you know, it's just like, it's the kind of album that I think the world kind of needs right now in 2019 with everything that's going on and, you know, just uh, being able to get away for everything for a half hour, just lose yourself in the music and just get excited for the next Agnostic Front show, you know, obviously coming up in 2020 with all these uh, great things coming up and being able to promote Get Loud. Like, I can't wait to see what's going to be in store for everybody once the touring starts happening. It's true, you know, and it's really nice because, you know, I really feel like everyone I spoke to this morning that has honestly listened to the record, um, you can hear the honesty in their tone and in their voice about how much they honestly really do like the record, you know? And it's good that, especially, I like the point that you give, you like, you know, to, to like, especially what's going on today with politics and you know, how crazy the world is and everything, this record can... It, it touches a little bit on politics, but not too much because we don't want to overboard people with that and bore people with it. Because, like, it's so overboard these days. You know what I mean? Like, people want to forget about that bullshit for a minute and sit back and listen to something they can relate to and just, you know, step back and just be like, let me get a fuck away from all these problems and all the bullshit that's going on. Yet we do speak on it a little bit, which is cool, especially, like, in the song Conquer and Divide and Get Loud speaks about, you know, speaking up against what we think is wrong in the world and yeah, just all that, you know what I mean? But you're right, it just it takes you away from all that shit that we have to deal with every day, and um, that's what's most important, you know? Oh, I couldn't agree more, and I, I think those are some great final words that really, truly do describe... Uh, the album and uh, a great way to be able to end this interview. Uh, thank you very much for uh, taking this time to be able to talk to me about everything going on in your world right now. And of course, uh, the brand new album from Agnostic Front, Get Loud, coming out next Friday through Nuclear Blast. Uh, like I've mentioned uh, several times, I love this album from start to finish. Uh, absolutely no filler at all. Every song is meant to be there. Uh, it's just like there's some great raw intensity that's going on there and a perfect soundscape of what the band sounds like in 2019. And I thank you very much for taking time time to do this interview and i thank you too man i appreciate it oh not a problem uh before we wrap things up is there anything else you'd like to mention that i hadn't brought up yet um you know just like check out everything we got going on we got the godfather of the hardcore movie being released on bridge nine that'll be available as well on blu-ray as well as the record coming out november 8th the, you know, november 8th new video just dropped we're dropping another video for the song conquer and divide and also you know if anyone's interested i do a lot of artwork so if you want to check out my artwork on my instagram is at mike gallo 1975 or at gallo underscore originals you can check out my stuff i do tons of punk rock and movie icons and um all sorts of fun pop graffiti style art so um check that out